Good evening, good evening, welcome back, welcome back, we are back with another video. If you are new, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you are returning guests, you know how we do, kick off our shoes, like, and share the video. This video is under the Fair Use Act, and the Fair Use Act is in the description box of the video, as well as the About Me section of the platform. The Fair Use Act is used to educate you guys on what we are covering on this particular platform. Please keep in mind that this video and all my videos are allegedly, as well as educational purposes only. Well, guys, Ryan is finally spilling the beans. Ryan is finally, finally throwing Gypsy under the bus. Now, we know for some time Ryan was saying, I can't, you know, that's just not me. And now that Gypsy is basically playing in Ryan's face, you know, with the baby situation, with her being with Ken and, and her allegedly, you know, having Ken on standby or her and Ken trying to figure out how she was going to get away from Ryan allegedly and end up back with him allegedly. But now Ryan is saying, you know what, guys? Since they want to play in my face, since they want to try to get me all worked up, since they want to make it like I'm the bad guy, well, let me tell you guys exactly what's been going on. And so Ryan takes and he says, well, Gypsy Rose has been in touch with not only Ken, he didn't give a name, but he definitely said that she has been in touch with other people. Meaning that Ken isn't the only one from her past that she's been in touch with. And so is it fair to say that, I mean, what was Ryan to do, allow this? So it seems to me that Ryan was kind of allowing Gypsy to do pretty much what she wanted to do in order to keep, you know, a household without the confusion. But it seems like Gypsy could have been taking advantage of Ryan's niceness, of Ryan allowing her to still be in touch with past relationships, allegedly, educational purposes only. And so now Ryan is saying, you know what, I'm going to put it all on Front Street. Since they want to make me out to be the bad guy, I'm going to show everybody what I was upset about. Now, wouldn't you guys be upset? I think that's his pitch, guys. <laughs> I think that's what he's trying to tell us. But is he wrong or is Gypsy wrong? Should she have been married and still having secret communication with people from past relationships? It happens a lot of times in relationships where people say, oh, my ex is my best friend and my ex is the next thing you know, they're creeping and sneaping and scheming and whatever else they got going on. But I do feel like being that her and Ryan was just freshly, not married, but freshly living together, freshly getting to know each other, that it was only fair that she had not allowed anyone else to be in the midst of what they had going on, in the midst of them growing on each other, or in the midst of them getting to know each other. And I just feel like somehow Gypsy didn't want Ryan in the first place, guys. You know, I know a lot of people don't want to believe it. You know, some people are actually feeling like people should mind their business, and I'm feeling like, well, they should keep it off the Internet. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on, y'all. Y'all got to stop. <sighs> y'all got to stop. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you leave your comments in the comment section. Do you guys think that Gypsy was wrong for keeping in touch with past relationships and keeping things a secret? Was Ryan wrong for being in his feelings about Gypsy being in touch with someone such as Ken, who actually dropped Gypsy? because he wasn't ready for whatever she was ready for or because he had a past relationship or whatever the case. Do you guys think that Gypsy should have basically violated Ryan and disrespected him and having all these secret phone calls with alleged past relationships? Why would that even be okay, considering that they was trying to know and grow on each other? Make that make sense. Any events, if Ryan allowed Gypsy to believe that he was okay with it, and then when Gypsy started winging away from Ryan, should he be upset? But does that mean that he was trying to control her by saying, listen, no, I don't want you talking to your ex so-and-so, or no, I don't want you talking to your ex so-and-so? I don't feel like certain things is a form of control. I do feel like if it's just a past relationship, and if things are just on a friend and a friend zone, then why can't your significant other know when you're speaking to that friend if they're in the same room? Why can't you answer your phone? Or or why do you need to go in the other room if the conversation is nothing but a friendship? I mean, there's, there's ways to handle things versus ways that trying to make someone jealous or make someone be in their feelings or, you know, just thinking that you have more going on than you actually have going on. And so I don't know what was going on with that situation, but now I feel like, 
Ryan is wanting to come forth and tell a little bit more than he's able to tell because I do feel like Ryan, not a gag order, but Ryan possibly is under some kind of contract where he really can't spill all the beans and can't spill all the secrets about Gypsy. And I believe that was part of the reason she wanted the order protection so that he don't just lash out and tell you know, all these things that she doesn't really want people to know. But for him to say that she's been in touch with more than just Ken, some are saying, well, I'm not surprised, you know. I'm just not surprised because even with the Didi situation, I mean, it's alleged that she had multiple male friends and and, and probably more than one or two relationships trying to figure out this whole situation and who was going to be the one to do what she needed them to do with Didi, allegedly. And so, I mean, it's, it's an iffy situation. I just wish Ryan would go on with his life. I wish Ryan would go ahead and not consider it a loss. But listen, it wasn't for you. It wasn't for you, right? And so why get upset? Why get overwhelmed? Why get over, you know, overworked? Why get in your feelings? At this point, she's not coming back. She's now pregnant, allegedly, and all these different kind of things. And the thing is this, Ryan can't just go away now, guys, because now Ryan actually has to end up taking a DNA test to find out, in fact, if this is his baby or if this is not his baby. And I think that Ken is really going to go above and beyond because, Ryan is not going to stop wanting to know what's going on because if it is his child, he's going to want to be involved. And Ken is like, you stay away until we figure out if you is or if you ain't or whatever the case. But eh, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know what to say at this point. I think both parties, when it comes to Ryan and Ken, I think both parties just need to be still and let things play out. I think Ken needs to stop crying on the Internet. I think at this point, Ken needs to, Ryan needs to let Gypsy miss him. Stop logging on, stop talking about her, stop saying her name, stop calling her, stop making up numbers allegedly according to her calling, stop fighting with Ken on the phone. It's not worth it. Is it really worth it? I don't think so. Y'all make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. You guys have a blessed rest of the night. Peace.